Dame Jessica Ellis Hill and I've teamed up with Santander and National Numeracy for the first ever Number Confidence Week to help families in the UK feel good about numbers. Not everyone loves numbers, but we all use them all the time. The numbers all around us can be fun and we can all feel good about using them. So you think maths is just for school? Boring worksheets and sums. Well, it turns out that there's much more to it than that. And we might not realize it, but we all use numbers to have fun without even thinking about maths. I make no secret that I'm a big football fan and following my beloved West Ham involves loads of numbers. I look at the league table every week and think about what happens and most importantly, how many more points we need to stop us getting relegated. Let's hear from my friend, Jessica Ennis-Hill, on how she used numbers to achieve her athletics dreams. In athletics, everything is very number orientated. It's everything's on times and distance and heights. Um, and within the heptathlon, it's a point scoring system. So it's all numbers. So for me, I understood you know, how helpful numbers could be from a sporting perspective from a very young age. That deeper understanding of my event and also the point scoring system of my event helped me to then train the way I needed to train to be better, to be stronger, to be faster, and then ultimately to achieve my goals of winning an Olympic gold medal. Understanding numbers helps our favourite teams and sport people achieve their goals and they'd all be having a lot less fun without knowing their numbers. No sports person was born a champion and they will all have found their sport difficult at times. There's been many occasions within sport, that, and particularly in my sport, where I've had to overcome something that's been very challenging. You know, you may feel that you're hitting barriers all the time and um, you know, you're losing confidence and you're not improving, but actually just keep going, keep that positive mindset, keep practicing um, and it will come eventually and you will see improvements. It's like a sporting skill, you know, you have to train yourself to be better. And I think that's the same with numbers. Just like sports, finding maths hard sometimes doesn't mean you're bad at it. If we take manageable steps and keep trying, we can all improve our number skills. Whatever you love doing, numbers are often there helping you enjoy it and helping you get better at it. We have more videos for you to watch and some great activities for you to do at home and get you thinking about how numbers are already helping you have fun and how they can help you achieve your dreams and goals for the future. See the link below and have a go.